Lean Sigma is a combination of two management theories, Lean and Six Sigma. Lean came from the Toyota production system. It's get rid of the waste, get rid of the non-value added tasks, and make it so everything you're doing, you're doing right the first time. Six Sigma is a statistical process where you want to reduce variability in your process, and by doing that, drive out the waste. So you put those two concepts together, and basically you're making the best product you can possibly make with only the right amount of resources. With the launch of McCain Competitive Edge, all the projects we've done on Lean Sigma tie in very well to all of our corporate goals. A Kaizen Week consists of a Monday to Friday project. Monday afternoon you meet, you get some initial training, you learn the concepts of value added, non-value added, abnormality management, tack time. The second day you meet in the morning, you brainstorm, how are we going to go forward? You get out on the floor and you start doing, observing, measuring, taking tests. The third day you come in and you actually implement your changes. Here's what we're going to change, here's how we're going to do it. That's when you start cutting the tables in half, you start moving equipment from one area to another, you start changing the way tests are done. Day four, you go back and you refine it. What did we learn from day three that didn't quite work or could be a little better? You refine it, you fine tune it, you present it to management, take them right out onto the floor, here's what we've done. Final day, you make a presentation to management, and then after the presentation, you celebrate. The Kaizen week is, is a full week. Everything is at a fast pace, but we get a lot accomplished. The true rapidness comes from breaking down the barriers uh, right from your plant manager down to your employees working on the floor. You don't have any outside interruptions, cell phones stop at the door, rank stays at the door. When you're on Kaizen, you're given a certain control anything that you figure might help. It's looked at immediately and implemented immediately. This Monday to Friday process works very well on all the uh, projects that we've assigned and the results have been phenomenal. Creativity before capital essentially is, is go out there, find the problem and come up with a solution that's not going to take $100,000 to fix. A lot of guys that have been around here 15, 20 years it's, it's amazing, but uh, some of the ideas that we've come up with, well, I've been thinking about that. I've known about that for 10 years. And finally, you guys are letting me do that, and we're seeing the results, we're seeing the impact. The Kaizen is a way for a group of people that can analyze something and, and make suggestions and use creativity as opposed to, okay, well, here's the quick way, we'll just spend a bunch of money. I was involved in, in Sigma Kaizen Color and uh, our measurement system really wasn't where it needed to be. Before the Kaizen, yes, we were all seeing different shades, different colors, we all weren't measuring the same way. Wouldn't have believed that before this process. A lot of the data we were gathering was wrong. So step one of the Sigma Kaizen is to address the MSA, and so at the end of the week you are now correcting accurate data. What we wanted to do was put some early catches in place that was gonna help us be more consistent, and I think we did that. So we came up with a dashboard where they could look and we showed different shades, different colors, what we expect of the different types of defects, how to measure them on our different templates. And we have gone up and down our line and adjusted equipment, implement a lot of standard work, standard policies. On the ADR machines, if the machine shut down, the gates would open, uh, it would immediately put defects right back out onto the line, which was uh, shooting yourself in the foot. We've always wanted to get the defects to circle because if you can't see the defects, you can't take them out. We put in a resort loop that now put those defects, instead of dropping them on the line, it dropped them on a conveyor and put them back through the sorter a second, third time, whatever it took. Uh, we also implemented a, a complete resort loop on line one, which would take all of the defects that came off of the Optisort and the ADR and put them back through the whole system again. And I understand it's been hugely successful there was a bypass conveyor that was put in on the bin site that was definitely needed. It had been suggested before and was never done. When it was suggested through Kaizen, it was implemented almost immediately and results were immediately found. On the Welliver sizer, we were getting potatoes that were piggybacking over top of each other. So just looking at it, I thought, you know, we have something drag across it and a team said, you know, run away with it, try it, see what happens. And so I did a couple shop trials, and put it in and it actually worked really well. The term Larianator, 
My name is Larry and the guy that helped me weld it was Ian. So Larry, Ian and Ader. <laughs> so that's how it all came to be. They did analyze the layout of the lab and uh, the workers' efficiency and they found that the lab layout probably was uh, the biggest thing that needed to be changed. There was a huge barge of a table that was sitting right in the center of the work area. Two workers uh, were on one side and two were on the other side and the equipment was kind of spread uh, all throughout the lab. So we cut the barge in half and made a space right in the middle of it so that eliminated unnecessary steps for them to go and fry their cookups, to go do solids. With the changes we made, everybody has their own workstation. Everything's in one main area, so you're using what you need to use is right there. We're not cutting corners. They've got the time to do their grade, and we're giving the service to the customer that they deserve. We began some of our projects on the waste elimination and portage, and we found, surprisingly, that we had some huge losses. And one of the issues we faced is that through throwing a lot of manpower at it, cleaning up the waste, nobody really realized how bad it was. Safety is always an issue, especially when you're talking about water hitting a concrete floor. You get slippery spots or, you know, there's water hazards. General things that you just like to see fixed and those things are getting fixed. From Monday to Friday, the leaks are corrected with a very short follow-up list. Uh, with their old system, they would typically drag out over several weeks or months. Instead of worrying about shoveling and running a hose, if they're an operator, they're actually operating machinery, which is what we, we really want the, to pay them to do. Through the Kaizen process, you learn to identify that, no, that puddle of water shouldn't be there. Where's it coming from? What am I going to do to fix it? And how am I going to make sure that the fix I put in is going to be the same fix that's going to be there 10 years from now? I'll tell you, when I got on this Kaizen event, I worked in this facility for, well, since November of 1986. And I mean, some days it's a chore to come to work. By the time I was on my second day in that event, I no longer needed my alarm clock to wake me up. And that's being honest. Through the Kaizen process and the Lean Sigma process, the people themselves determine how they're going to change their jobs. Somebody from the area, somebody who actually does the job. Manpower, in most instances, isn't utilized to its fullest advantage. There's lots of ideas employees have if just given the chance to give them. Basically, if you can put out a perfect product, who's going to compete with you? And the closer we are to perfect, the better we're going to do. And it's definitely a good thing, long term. We, as a company, have set some corporate goals. We've done very well strictly because of the result of the Kaizen events. So it's fit in well. Actually, I'm quite pleased that we were the pilot and uh, it's made uh, my job a lot easier to hit those targets.